Hi there, this is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society and I want to talk about a little problem that comes up when you use this Big Daddy expansion arch wire very much. And a lot of people don't think about having to put the buccal root torque in a rectangular wire to keep the teeth level as you go out and consequently the Big Daddy arch wire brings the tooth out and there's got a perfect example of that here uh, this evening and I'm going to uh, show it to you and show you what you have to do. So it just happened that I looked on that and I thought everybody that uses that large wire really should know about this buccal root torque. So uh, I've just got a few pictures here to show it to you. But here's a young man with a tremendously broad jaw and he has a large tongue to support it and we were trying to expand the upper arch to fit it and some way or another we did not get enough buckle root torque in this rectangular wire up here to actually accommodate and keep the teeth going out parallel like this Consequently, the crowns went out and the root structure went in and the roots actually impinged on the airway. So it's, this is a perfect example and I'm, I'm glad to show it. I want everybody to understand that that's what the problem is here. And uh, now as far as this Big Daddy, we somebody else called it Big Daddy, I didn't, uh, but that's what it is. Uh, I have never found an arch on adults or anybody that we couldn't expand that arch out with it. And if you keep a group of teeth going together and you put this uh, buccal root torque, in other words, you have to have something in your arch wire like that over here. In other words, your arch wire, your rectangular wire should be bevel like that. You have to pull it down to engage it in here and that wire wants to go up and carries these roots out to the buckle. And this wire here is so powerful it takes the tooth and the buckle root torque and go, goes out with it and keeps the tooth uh, actually parallel as you go. And everybody that uses this large wire really needs to know that and I've tried to uh, emphasize that but uh, a lot of people forget it and uh, I want you to see what happens if you if you do forget it uh, here this is a perfect example now, I've never seen anybody with such a broad arch form as this young man it doesn't show up on his facial structure hardly at all and this uh, some way or another got past us and we did not see it quick enough and this is buccal root. This is a lack of buccal root torque. In other words, if you had the roots being torqued out like that by this rectangular wire here, it's like this, you have to raise it and go down in there uh, where it would push these roots and bring them out with the crowns, then you can do that. Now this has gone past and you can see the six-year motors were, were kind of like that. Now the root, lingual root is inside and that is not what you want to do. And I so hope I uh, have get that in, uh, squeezed into your brain. Do not put this big wire on there <clears> on <throat> just a round arch wire or something. It, it will cause this to happen. In other words, the roots will just swing in like that when the crown will go up and that actually reduces the airway instead of increasing it. So it, you can you can expand anybody's teeth. I don't care who they are and you don't run them through the bone structure if you just put a moderate amount of pressure and keep this buccal root torque those teeth will go out as wide as you want them and they'll be parallel and there'll be bone structure on those teeth. So uh, 
that that is uh, false that you got to go in here and surgically section this jaw out here if you want to have the teeth have a bone structure on them. Now you might take one tooth and put a tremendous force on it and bring it through the bone structure up here, but taking a whole group of them together and they just move the bone, moves with the teeth. And we know that any kid that sucks his thumb or an adult or anybody and pushes the teeth out like this, the roots go with the, the, the bone goes with the roots. And this has been known for years and yet old surgeons and people will actually say that you've got to cut the jaw off here to move it out here if you want to move it a fair amount of distance in there and I want you to know you can expand as much as you want to as long as you bring the buccal root torque out and carry the tooth this way then the bone structure goes with it. So I'm going to uh, go ahead. This is a real short video but <clears throat> this is a perfect example of it and I hope that everybody sees that that decides they want to use this. This is so much simpler than putting a lingual expansion method in. This is just dirt so simple to put in and you expand it out and squeeze it in and put it in there but don't go off and leave them for six months because the teeth will be sticking out through their cheeks I'm afraid. Alright this is the young man's mouth. I've never seen such a broad mouth like this but he has a huge tongue and this uh, his lower arch was expanded and I had to uh, carry the upper one out to where it was over the lower arch so we just failed to put enough buccal root torque in the rectangular wire and here the case is closer to finish this is back in 1978 and and I had only been specializing in orthodontics for since 1970 but I didn't really understand this good enough at that time <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay uh, that's a bad picture right there and that's not too good either but these pictures were made back in 1978 when we were still in uh, I started this young man in bands and uh, we carried it on through and got a nice uh, set of teeth after that and you can look at him and here he is growing you can't tell that he's got that broader jaw at all and I'll go back and look at this and here's the way it was when he started <coughs> small small uh, uh, young person here and after he grew up his jaw was still like that so it was broad but it didn't change the facial structure much now hope you get something out of this if the thing I want you to really get out is that do not use this big expanding arch wire unless you've got it and you'll just go a little bit or if you're going to do very much go in there with get a rectangular arch in there and put this buckle root torque into the teeth from the uh, the back cuspids back through the molars that you're tending to torque the molar teeth and the back cuspids out this way and the big wires pulling the crown this way and it's going to counteract that and the two will allow you to go out like this now like we had here we didn't have that but if you put too much buccal root torque you'll have them going out with the roots ahead of the crown so you have to watch and see and carry the teeth out bodily. So I'm going to hush and say uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, we'd like to have you uh, join our group and subscribe to our uh, channel. And uh, we'll keep trying to give you some good advice on orthodontics. And uh, thank you, Van, for watching. Good night. Bye-bye.